Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep. It's uh, Feb 2nd and it's uh, Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, what I'm going to do today is um, a tutorial on how to create a scan for stocks uh, that are hitting their 60 day high or a 60 day low with a range expansion. So one of the things I promised uh, uh, in my past tutorial was that I will do um, uh, you know some some additional tutorials around creating scans uh, this year and uh, the reason why you know I want to do it in the way I've structured is because I want people to be able to create the scans by themselves right so scans as I've mentioned in the past are extremely powerful um, and one of the best features in, uh, on the thinkorswim platform and uh, this is extremely useful especially if you are um, you know day trading or trading on a shorter term uh, time frame then it's good to be able to create these scans such that they fit the criteria uh, of your own trading style so what we'll do is uh, i'm not going to give out the code because i'm going to just create it right in front of you you can follow follow along or you can you know look at the video um, again in your uh, free time and see what the code looks like and you should be able to recreate this uh, by yourself and, and the reason why I'm doing it this way is so that you're not being dependent on anybody whether it's me or somebody else that you depend upon to create these scans uh, I'm just giving you a way of being able to do it yourself and be able to adjust it to your needs so to create the scan we'll uh, you know jump into uh, the scan tab and there's a number of different options so you know, I'll get rid of this as well what we'll do is we'll do an ad filter and this is uh, you know you can create a filter on a stock option fundamentals study or pattern and what we'll do is we'll create uh, a scan which is actually based on the study so you go hit the edit button here and what we're going to do is we're going to define uh, let's say uh, the input call it look back and uh, this is for the last three days and I'll uh, tell you what that means in a second the second thing what we want to do is we want to find out stocks that are hitting their 60-day high so uh, you know we just use uh, the define um, variable and uh, you know use the HH HHY or give it whatever name you want which is a variable and what we want to do is we want to find the highest high of the last 60 days Okay. So that gives you, um, you know, the stocks that have uh, hit their highest high in the last 60 days. Okay. Now so what we'll do is we'll use the plot function, call it uh, 60 day high equals, and we want the highest high of uh, the look back period, which is uh, already defined, and uh, this equals HHY. Okay. So what this basically is saying is. Um, this is giving you the highest high of the last 60 days and here we're saying we want those highest high as long as they exist within the last uh, three days now, now this look back can be adjusted so you know you can say my look back is one day so it has to have the highest high of the last 60 days uh, in the last one period but we'll stick with three here so if you click on this then the hit the scan button you have a number of different stocks right and that's actually way too many so it's giving you about you know 500 stocks so let's add some other filters to further restrict it right so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to look for scans um, or, or actually stocks that have a range expansion going on so what exactly is range expansion the so range expansion is nothing but the difference between the high minus the low of the day right and uh, so we want the high minus uh, the low to be greater than and uh, if I can get my typing right um, the highest high of uh, past let's say nine days so we'll do uh, this subtract from low and one and comma close the brackets comma comma nine Okay, so that will give you uh, the the stocks which have a range expansion going on. Now, if you don't know what range expansion is, a stock typically moves a certain amount uh, between the high and the low, and you can average that out over a period of time, right? 
and on days when you have range, uh, you know, expansion occurring, uh, you know, if a stock typically trades two dollars in a day, you want it to be trading, you know, much higher. So if they're trading much higher, that means that there's some kind of institutional interest behind it, and those are the stocks that you want to focus on. So we'll leave this to the day. Hit the OK button, click on the uh, scan button, and uh, let's see if uh, the number went down. So we are down from 500 to about 130, but that's uh, still, you know, too much for my taste. So let's click on the study button again. And one of the things we can do is we can look for stocks. And again, these are things that you can adjust, right? So I'm just looking for stocks which, on an average, trade, you know, at least three dollars in a day. So ATR and this average, this is the average it uses is 14. So it's 14 day. ATR is greater than three. Hit the scan button again, and uh, so we're down to 19. So that's pretty good. We, you know, we can leave it to uh, uh, 19, or we can, um, um, you know, uh, you know, restrict it even more. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take the same scan and we'll adjust it to look for stocks uh, that are hitting there lowest 60 day period right so so now of course in this case uh, you only know what, what what we've done here so it just the only change we're going to make is instead of looking for the highest high we're going to look for the lowest low right so so it's going to be lowest of the 60 day period and same thing here we we'll change this to lowest of the 60 day period okay Hit OK, everything else stays intact because we're still looking for range expansion to occur. So hit the scan button again here. And uh, so we, we get, uh, you know, a reasonable number of stocks. And, you know, if you want a little bit more showing up, what we can do is we can change the range here and we can say, say how about the ATR of two and look at another scan, run the scan again. And uh, we get a handful of stocks. Now, the other thing we can do is we can say, instead of all optionable, right? We can say, just give me um, all all symbols or all stocks here and run the scan again. That gives you um, a reasonable number of scans. And these are stocks that are hitting, um, you know, the 60 day low. And let's just save this criteria. So what we'll do is we'll, you know, save this criteria, just call this, uh, uh, xxx so i can find it easy we'll call it low and hit the save button here and then what we'll do is we'll go back and take a look at what these stocks were so so now these are the stocks that are uh, hitting the 60 day low with a range expansion and and the way you know they have range expansion happening is you can see this uh, column that i built which is the uh, atr column and they so this has traded 50% above its normal range. You know, this has traded 300% over its normal range, right? So we can take a look at uh, a couple of these stocks, right? And see how well they performed or how badly they were doing, you know? So in this case, as you can see, we got a sell signal, uh, which uh, obviously is the ultimate trading uh, strategy signal. And this is just uh, on that particular day, right? So we have a short, uh, that was placed by the strategy and this thing has a profit of a dollar 28 and this trade is still sort of in flight right so just by using something very simple uh, you know we can find uh, stocks that are uh, trading either on the long side or on the short side by using a criteria like this now again this stock had triggered a sell this happened uh, two days ago and this is still um, a trade in progress which is down five dollars and uh, 89 cents or profit of five dollars and 89 cents uh, let's take a look at azo and see when the actual um, sell was placed and in this case you have a profit of 83 dollars because you know it came a couple days back um, just go back and see when the actual so that's where the sell actually occurred or the signal came and it, it's down 80 so it's one two three and like four days you have uh, a profit of almost 80 dollars on this trade now we can go back and look at uh, other trades and see what went on this is another uh, trade o'reilly and you can see on the 15 minute chart this is not even like a daily chart or anything and uh, you know this is where the sell actually occurred right so this is uh, you know you have a profit of 32 dollars 
So going back to the scan, so this is a very easy way of, you know, just creating the scan. And if you want to restrict it even more, you can just say add filter and you can say, uh, you know, I want to, you know, the price to be between a certain range. So you can say the close, you know, is between $10 and, you know, $20 or $50 or whatever else you want to change. You can also get rid of the ATR if you think uh, you want to look for, you know, stocks that don't uh, have... Uh, in, you know, because a lot of time the penny stocks are not going to trade like two dollars between the high and the low. So if you trade penny stocks, you can remove that condition. Uh, so hope this helps, and uh, uh, let me know if you want other similar tutorials, and you know, then I'll continue doing those. Have a great Sunday. Bye bye.